Welcome to this video about the Sensor Hub. This video will explain more about how to use the Sensor Hub and how it can be configured. Let's get started. The Sensor Hub allows you to conveniently mix and match sensors for applications like measuring tool length or finding a position. These sensors come in a variety of flavors. We only use 24 volts powered sensors. This is not the biggest challenge. Two main characteristics that you often only consider later when it is too late are whether the sensor is an NPN or PNP type and whether it is a normally open or normally closed version. Now, let's take a closer look at how the Sensor Hub can help you. The Sensor Hub has three inputs for a sensor. One output for the combined signal and a power connection. The power connection is a 24 volts input. Each sensor is also powered through this power connection. Each sensor input consists of three separate connections, the power, 24 volts, the sensor signal, and the ground. Each input can be configured for NPN or PNP, normally open or closed. The output signal is the signal that is switched when either one of the attached sensors is activated. A blue LED also indicates the status of the input and output signal. It's important to understand that our controllers detect changes in the signal, so whether the LED is on or off is irrelevant. It just serves as an indicator of the output level. The output can be configured to either output a 5 volts or 24 volts signal. Please double check this setting to avoid damage to your CNC controller. Next, our demo setup. In this setup, we have three types of sensors. A simple mechanical press down sensor, NPN, normally closed, an inductive sensor, NPN, normally open, and a 3D sensor, PMP, normally closed. Next to the sensor hub, we added a 24 volts power supply. This power supply is for demonstration purposes only. Usually, you can wire it up to the rest of your 24 volts, which will probably already be available. After connecting the sensor, look at its blue LED indicator to see whether it's active. The output LED should react opposite to the sensor that is being used. Remember, we are only interested in level changes, not the actual on or off state. Check the sensor LED is off when the sensor hub LED is on. If the sensor LED and the sensor hub LED are both on, you can change the behavior by changing the normally open setting to a normally closed. As a result, the output and LED switch on when no sensors are active. It might feel counterintuitive that this signal is inverted. However, it's very useful. We will come back to this later. I hope you have enjoyed this video about the sensor hub. Let us know in the comments, and remember to subscribe. See you next time.